Well, in terms of budget reductions to um, the culture sector, I think it's worth remembering, first of all, that Wales has been far better protected by this Welsh Government than England has been by the UK Government. The reductions in Arts Council funding for England has been far deeper since 2010-2011 than it has been in Wales, and that's because we want to make sure that Wales becomes a more active and more creative nation. Now, on top of that, what we've seen in England are huge cuts to local authority um, budgets. That, in, ter in turn, because culture is a non-protected area, that has led to significant reductions in England at a local authority level in budgets for culture. We were very keen in the Welsh Government to avoid that happen from happening, and so I was extremely pleased that local authority budgets were reduced by far, far less than had been anticipated in this latest round of budget talks. So it's essential that we don't just see the funding for the arts coming direct via the Arts Council for Wales, but instead coming from a number of sources. Those sources can be local government, Arts Council funding, direct from Welsh Government, but also direct from organisations, from philanthropists, from, if you like, consumers and the generators of culture, so you and I, essentially. And I've been very keen since I've had this role to press people to become more involved in the arts, more involved in culture, because essentially we need more investors, not just people who are extremely wealthy, who can offer um, much valued philanthropic help, but generally, the general public. Mm -hmm. Um, the more people that we have involved in the arts, the more investors we have in the arts, and therefore the greater degree of activity that will take place.